Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and I do a channel on homeschool, preschool units, uh, trying to be vegan, lifestyle and gentle attachment parenting. Uh, today's video is all about days one through three in our dinosaur unit, so I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk you through um, what we're doing. So, you could play this game. There's Rosie waiting to play. You could play this game with just carnivore, herbivore, um, omnivore cards, but what Rosie's going to do is, she's going to learn as she's doing it, is the, the Plodocus a meat eater? Sorry, the Brontosaurus is a meat eater? Yeah. Or is it a plant eater? Plant eater. It's a herbivore. So can you put it next to the carrot? Put it next to the carrot, baby. It's a herbivore. What about the pterodactyl? It ate fish. So it, does that make it a meat eater or a herbivore, a plant eater? A plant. You sure it eats little fish, baby, and small mammals? So it might eat you. If it would eat you, it's a meat eater, Babs. Fish. Fish, yeah. So that would make him a, a meat eater. What about raptors, a velociraptor? What's he? What does he eat? Me. Yeah, so put him next to the pterodactyl, Bab. What about the Brachiosaurus? He doesn't eat me. No, you put him next to the carrot then, Bab. Mm. Put him next to the carrot. She's yeah. not feeling well today. But that's the gist of the game we're going to get on with now. So it's just herbivore or carnivore or omnivore is right in the middle otherwise. Um, so yeah. So on the backs of these cards, they're actually fact cards I made her. So a plesiosaur, and then it's got like the shapes of their bodies, how big they were, how heavy they were, carnivore or herbivore, and any distinguishing features. Uh, the other stuff I have ready for her. <laughs> I don't know if I started doing this now, you'd do that. So we've got what what are dinosaurs? Go read that one. I don't want to. What are dinosaurs and main characteristics? I don't want to. Dinosaurs share. I don't want to. My smallest to largest signs, um, my, math, my math cards. So mummy and baby dinosaurs. I try not to get it out too much. Pen work sheet. It's the egg. A math sheet. No, I would do that. You one. do the math sheet then. Well, then go take the math sheet. Um, when they lived and the different periods. So the Triassic, Jurassic. My every now and then my laminator just bends. And the Cretaceous. Um, I've made most of these myself. Uh, this is her phonics. This is a phonics sheet for her to work out what sound goes at the start. Right, don't lose all those numbers, please, baby. And then some fact sheets for her to fill in. But these might be for when she's bigger because I would have left these for her to colour in. But she's seriously not. And these little bits floating around, these, these are puzzles that I've made for her. The number puzzle. She's lines that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then make a picture. So there's a, there's a couple more. There's number 3, number 7. But I've got like Stegosaurus. Just basically asking her so that she starts researching later on. How big was it? What did they eat? How did they protect themselves and how did they live? And she'll work out how to Google them at that point. And I've started doing doubles so that she's got one to colour in later on. And these are fact sheets for her so that she, she can reference these as well as I've got this online. one. Okay, make sure you put all the bits back on, please, Babby. And then this one is just a play scene that's similar to our board with some dinosaurs for her to play on the back with. Why don't you put those back? I think you'll like this one more. So those are my resources for this week that I've made to her favourite one. Oh, he doesn't fly, Bab. <laughs> he can if you want him to, because this is your free imaginative play with them. I'm a pterodactyl. Yeah, he flies. I'm a flying dinosaur. Yeah. I'm a flying I think the Diplodocus might want to eat some of the leaves off that tree. Why don't you move him closer? Yum, 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 yum. I climb up, up. She loves sheep like this. <sighs> this is just day one. We've done dinosaur fat cards, herbivore, carnivore. Playing with this. 
um, read our circle pen books, learned about them and stuff. She's already named most of the ones I like, so I can but unfortunately, because the heat, because it's raining, I have no other way to dry my washing except turning the heating up. So the house is boiling, and Mummy Diplodocus has collapsed. Um, so I'm going to try and stick her back up now. So this is day one. Rosie was helping me make <coughs> uh, two dinosaurs to go on our door, but um, she kind of got distracted and started. There's the one I did. Um, hers I finished later, but um, she got distracted painting her hand. They're just paper plates and cardboard tubes. And then she drew me some. She just sat down and drew a load of dinosaurs. Um, if you can make out the writing in the corner, I wrote down what she what she said they were. I'm really, the last one is the Triceratops. <laughs> it's my favourite picture she's drawn ever. Really do love it. That one. <laughs> That's why it's on the fridge. It's like Triceratops. Then, also on day one, I coloured in, it took me ages, uh, coloured in our steggy on the stairs and my green pen ran out and uh, my, between days two and three me and my husband coloured in the two diplodocuses behind the radiator. I know they're not actually blue. Day two we um, excavated for some dinosaur eggs. I bought some little dinosaur eggs at the museum one time when we were there thinking they'd be great for a dinosaur project. So I'm just showing you here what we have and uh, I buried them in the sand and then Rosie used um, a little brush and she she dug around for them and then she brushed all the sand off and she identified the little babies and stuff. She really enjoyed doing that. In fact, she refused to give up the sand. I had to let her play with it for a bit longer than I was intending because um, she really, really loved playing with the sand. We ended up rolling car tracks and we put some uh, dinosaur footprints. There's one of them that she put back in. There she, she is really putting um, dinosaurs prints in the sand. This also sparked an activity of counting how many legs they had and then she put her dinosaurs into two categories, whether they had two legs or four legs. So that was really good to get her counting and realising that not all animals have the same number of legs as well. So that was a good maths activity. So this is day three. I made a snake to show Rosie. I hang it from the ceiling and uh, this is uh, her making her own snake. I did look this up and apparently we have found fossilised snakes around uh, dinosaur eggs. So not only are they in our jungle rainforest, but they were actually around at the time. So Rosie's using her dabbers and her colouring pens and she's decorating the snake. She couldn't manage the scissors to cut it out, even though I only did a small spiral. Um, so I did have to help her there. Um, she really enjoyed making handprints all over this snake. She just wanted me to draw around her hand at different angles and different colours. She's also really loving drawing circles at the moment. She says she enjoyed going round the plate. And there's her finished snake up on the ceiling. She's very pleased with it. I did forget to give it a tongue though. This is our pen work sheet. Because Rosie wasn't interested in doing our school work today. So I thought we'll just do it with the dinosaurs. Her math sheet, she did do her math workbook as well. She's counting dinosaurs here and finding and recognising the correct number. Uh, she only needed help towards the end. And then this is her looking at our mummy and baby dinosaurs. So she's got to match them all up together. Make sure the mums are with the babies. So she's having a good look. Um, I also, once she matched these, I used my other cards. Instead of getting her to put longest to shortest in... I handed her each card and asked her, so which one's the longest dinosaur? And I said, put, long, put this card next to the longest dinosaur. Put this card next to the tallest dinosaur. So she was doing that. Um, that's what she's got there. But I think some of them, she was doing it the size of the picture, <laughs> not the actual dinosaur. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe so that we know you actually like our unit ones and give us a comment below if you've got any suggestions of what we could do next. Um, well, not next, but as one and uh, we'll take it into consideration. So yeah, for now it's Tatar from me and Tatar from the Rosie Bear.